Hi everyone, welcome to Notescraft. Today we delve into the mind of Jacques Derrida and his groundbreaking essay, Structure, Sign and Play in the Discourse of Human Sciences. Jacques Derrida, a 20th century French philosopher, is best known for developing a form of semiotic analysis, known as deconstruction. His works have had a profound influence on a wide spectrum of disciplines, from literary theory and philosophy to law and anthropology. In the essay Structure, Sign and Play, Derrida challenges traditional notions of fixed structures within the human sciences, proposing instead a fluid, ever-changing dynamic. He argues that meaning is not static, but constructed and deconstructed through the interplay of signs and structures. This fundamental shift in perspective has reshaped our understanding of language, meaning and interpretation in profound ways. Now, to fully appreciate this essay, we need to understand Derrida's key concepts. At the core of Derrida's philosophy are three key concepts, deconstruction, difference and trace. Let's unpack these a bit. Deconstruction, the first concept, is not about destruction. Instead, it's an analytical tool that helps us break down complex structures and concepts. Derrida encourages us to inspect, question, and even challenge the traditional binaries in language and thought. It's about peeling back the layers of meaning, understanding that there's no single absolute truth, but a multiplicity of interpretations. Next, we have difference. It's a playful amalgamation of the words difference and deferral. Derrida suggests that meaning is not immediate or absolute, but it's always deferred, always on the move. It's like a game of eternal tag between signifiers and signifieds, where the meaning is always just out of reach, perpetually deferred. The final concept, trace, is the echo or footprint of the other meanings that a word or concept could have had. It's the ghostly presence of what's absent, what's been moved, shifted or deferred through the game of difference. The trace reminds us that meanings are not fixed, but fluid and ever-changing. These concepts serve as the foundation for Derrida's argument in structure, sign and play. They challenge us to re-evaluate our understanding of language, meaning and structure, to see them not as static entities, but as dynamic, ever-evolving processes. With these concepts in mind, we can now delve into the core arguments of structure, sign and play. Derrida's structure, sign and play challenges the conventional understanding of structure and sign within the human sciences. This is a cornerstone of Derrida's thought as he seeks to unravel the established notions that govern our understanding of language and meaning. In this discourse, Derrida introduces the concept of play as an essential component in the human sciences. He suggests that play is the disruption of our usual understanding of structure and sign. It's a subversive act that disrupts the traditional binary oppositions we often rely on to make sense of the world around us. The concept of structure, as Derrida sees it, is not an unchanging, monolithic entity, but rather a dynamic, evolving construct. It is always in flux, never entirely stable, and always subject to the act of play. And then there's the sign. Derrida proposes that signs don't have a fixed, inherent meaning. Instead, they derive their meaning from their difference from other signs. This concept, known as difference, is a fundamental aspect of Derrida's argument. It suggests that meaning is always deferred, always in motion, never fully present. This deconstructive approach to structure and sign is a radical departure from the traditional understanding. It calls into question the very foundations of our understanding of language and meaning. Derrida is not seeking to destroy these foundations, but rather to expose their inherent instability. They're always already shifting nature. This destabilization of structure and sign, this constant play and deferment of meaning, opens up a space for new possibilities, new interpretations. It challenges us to rethink our assumptions, to view language and meaning not as stable, fixed entities, but as dynamic evolving constructs, always in play, always in flux. Derrida's argument, while complex, has profound implications for how we understand language and meaning. 
It prompts us to look beyond the surface, to question our assumptions, and to embrace the complexity and dynamism of language. It's an invitation to engage in a playful, yet rigorous, exploration of the structures that shape our understanding of the world. Derrida's deconstructive approach is not just a critique of linguistic structures, but a challenge to the very foundations of human sciences. And what does this mean? Well, it means that Derrida's deconstruction essentially reshapes our understanding of language, structure, and meaning. Let's delve into this a bit further. By revealing the inherent instability in linguistic structures, Derrida's approach encourages us to question the very idea of fixed meanings. This is a significant shift from traditional linguistic theories that posit language as a stable system of signs. Instead, Derrida suggests that meaning is not static, but dynamic and continually shifting. This has profound implications for how we understand and interpret texts, whether they be literary, philosophical, or scientific. Moreover, Derrida's deconstruction disrupts the binary oppositions that pervade our thinking. These oppositions like good and evil or truth and falsehood are not naturally occurring, but rather are constructs of language. Derrida's deconstruction reveals these oppositions to be arbitrary and unstable, undermining the certainties we often take for granted. This destabilization forces us to reevaluate our assumptions about the world and ourselves, leading to a more nuanced perspective. But Derrida's deconstructive approach has implications beyond linguistics. It challenges the very foundations of human sciences, which often rely on fixed categories and structures to make sense of the world. By revealing the fluidity and instability of these structures, Derrida's approach calls for a more flexible and adaptable understanding of human sciences. This doesn't mean that we should abandon all structures or categories. Rather, Derrida's work invites us to be aware of their limitations and to continually question and reassess them. It encourages a sense of intellectual humility, reminding us that our knowledge and understanding are always provisional, always subject to revision. Derrida's work, therefore, is a potent reminder of the complexities and nuances of human sciences. It challenges us to think more deeply, to question more critically, and to embrace the inherent uncertainty and ambiguity of human existence. As we have seen, Jacques Derrida's Structure, Sign and Play is a groundbreaking essay that continues to influence the discourse of human sciences. His revolutionary approach to dismantling language and structure has opened up new perspectives and challenged established norms within the field. We've journeyed through the labyrinth of Derrida's key concepts, delving deep into the intricacies of his radical thoughts. We've dissected the core elements of his argument, shedding light on the profound implications of his deconstructive approach. We've explored the intersections of language, structure and meaning, and how these ideas have shaped the discourse within the human sciences. In the spirit of Derrida, we've questioned, probed and deconstructed. But this is only the beginning. Derrida's discourse is vast and complex, and there is so much more to uncover. So, I encourage you to delve further, to engage with his work, to question, and to deconstruct. The realm of human sciences is vast and ever-evolving, and Derrida's structure, sign, and play continues to be a beacon, illuminating the path for those who dare to venture into the unknown, those who dare to question, to deconstruct, to reimagine. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed our content, let us know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below.